Hi guys, I'm Ash and I'm the founder of Digital Dandy and we do video storytelling. So we produce videos for a few different things, but mainly it's landing page videos. So the, the video you see when you turn up to somebody's website, we do marketing campaign videos and uh, Kickstarter campaign videos. So today I'm going to have a chat with you about videos for crowdfunding campaigns. And uh, I've mostly been thinking about Indiegogo and Kickstarter when it comes to this. So what I'll do is I'll show you a couple of, well, one video in particular that I think works really well, and then dissect it, think about what are the reasons for this. Um, now, my background is in TV. I started by doing a few bits and pieces of development, so writing a few documentaries, and I've done some production as well. I've just come back from Sudan, where I was filming on an expedition called Walking the Nile. But the same principles apply to the videos you're going to make for a Kickstarter campaign as they do for television or indeed advertising. And it's always to find a good story and communicate your message well. So why is video important? So when you're crowdfunding, you've basically got to convince people to give you money for your product or service. I've said product here, but app, service, product, it's the same thing. You're providing a solution for a problem that they maybe didn't know they have. So people need to know about your product or your campaign at least. People need to understand what your product will do for them. And then people need to fund your product. You need to get them to actually donate money. Now, Kickstarter and Indiegogo don't mark for you. I missed an end, sorry. They don't do your marketing for you. So you need to reach people yourself. So this is, this is the basic fundamentals of any crowdfunding thing that you need to do. And video is a very good way to do this. And these are the reasons why I think video is good. It's shareable. You can do it through... Once you've hosted it on any platform, whether that's YouTube or Vimeo, you can just email it out to people. You have it hosted on your Kickstarter or Indiegogo page, and you can stick it up on Facebook, send it out through YouTube. It's a very easily shareable form of content. You don't need to have any uh, marketing materials. It's easily consumed. People just press a button and they watch it. They don't have to uh, make the effort of what you call lean forward uh, marketing materials. They don't have to read something and trawl through all the uh, bump to understand it. Um, so it doesn't require effort by them. And uh, this is a statistic a friend of mine who does uh, crowdfunding for films came up with. But 70, 80, 70 to 80 percent of the funding for the campaigns he works on comes from the friends and family of, of the person who set up the campaign. So if you use social media, your Facebook and Twitter pages are going to be a really important element of driving people to your crowdfunding page in the first place. And, as, as you know, if you use Facebook, which I'm sure you will do, there's a lot of video that's put up on there and it's a very easy thing to just watch. Uh, easy for coverage and PR, uh, TechCrunch or any of the other PR uh, outlets, or sorry, any of the news outlets you want to engage with, they all have a digital online presence and video is very readily consumed online. So it really helps any PR and marketing campaign that you're doing. And it's twice as likely to be successful. Any campaign for Kickstarter or Indiegogo that has a video twice as many of them succeed in raising their full amount as those that don't. It's the first thing people will see when they turn up to your Kickstarter or Indiegogo page. So it's really worth putting a lot of thought into it. People tend to spend, I've seen repeatedly, people have spent huge amounts of money investing in the product and development of their, pro sorry, in the, in the development and manufacture of their product. And then they just put a really crap video out. And it just shows that you don't put any thought or care into your product. It's a really bad sign. Um, so I think putting time and effort into your video has a lot of benefits. Uh, now, what makes a good video? When we make a video, again, whether this is for TV, for online or uh, advertising, it comes in three stages. Pre-production, which is what you do before you even get the camera out. Production, which is actually shooting and um, filming or maybe recording voiceovers if you need to. And then post-production. Now, that's the editing phase of the... That's the editing phase and putting in music and all those sorts of things. People tend to rush through uh, the first two phases and go straight into production. So they just get the camera out and go, oh, we'll see what happens. Let's be edgy and let's oh, just talk to me, talk to me. Uh, it doesn't really work that well. I mean, it can work. Actuality and observation and documentary can work well. And if you've got a particularly good performer, it might. But this stage pre-production is the most cost-effective stage to spend your time on. This is what you do before you get the cameras out, working out the intentions, the objectives. Why are you using a video in the first place? You're trying to reach people, you're trying to talk to them, share your information. Putting in thought here will save you a huge amount of money later on. 
Otherwise, you get to the end of your first day shooting, go, oh, do you know, we didn't even talk about the manufacturing phase. Bollocks, we've got to go and hire the cameraman out again for another day. So it's really effective to spend your time in pre-production. Um, now, I'll just show you a video that I think works quite well. This is Sun God Mavericks, they're sunglasses. And I actually know the guys that made this video. And it was a really successful campaign. They reached 200% of their campaign target. And I think that's successful. <laughs> so let's have a look at this video and then we'll talk it through and work out what's good about it. Hi, we're Ali and Zoe and we're the creators of Sungod Sunglasses. Sungod are customizable, tailorized sunglasses made from innovative materials and built to last. Some of you may remember us from last summer when we wore helmets to successfully launched campaign to bring the first ever pair of Sungod to life. They proved to be really popular and we've now shipped pairs to thousands of customers However, we never intended to be just a one product brand, and this was just the beginning of our journey. We're now here to tell you about an exciting new frame we've developed to add to our product line, Sungod Mavericks. Sungod Mavericks will be the first affordable, tailorized, and fully customizable metal frame sunglasses on the market. We've spent the last six months developing a high performing frame from the best materials. We think we've created a product you'll really love. lightweight steel frame that the Sungod Mavericks is designed to offer exceptional quality, performance and comfort all day, whatever the conditions and wherever you are. They feature the same high quality, fully polarised lenses that we developed for our original Sungod. Made from a polycarbonate core, Maverick lenses filter 100% UVA and UVB light. Features impact protection and scratch resistant layers on both sides and are polarised to reduce horizontal glare and enhance optical clarity. At Sungod, one of our core brand values is offering you the ability to customise your own product, and Mavericks will be no different. With the option to choose frame finish, lens and tip colours, so you really can make them your own. In an overpriced and ground inflated market, we're determined to continue to offer you great quality products at a price everyone can afford. We've now finalised our production samples, but to make Sungold Mavericks a reality, we need your help. Our fundraising target is £10,600. If we can reach this, we can start our first production run, and we can ship you your Mavericks by the beginning of the summer. So please, check out our perks below, and back Sungold Mavericks today. Well, so that was a, a campaign that uh, reached its target, double, doubled its target. They raised about £21,000 throughout the course of the campaign. There's a few things that made them successful, but I'm going to focus on the video. Now, the first thing they did was they introduced themselves. Here we are, this is what we've done, this is our background. And then they explained what their product is, their sunglasses. These are the things that are different about them to a normal pair of sunglasses. Everyone likes sunglasses, what make this pair of sunglasses different? So they gave us a few of the qualities and benefits of this particular product. Price point was one, the durability. And then they talked a bit about their, their, their community, if you like. You know, we did this last year, people are wearing these sunglasses, they're happy, look at them, they're all good looking, playing volleyball. Um, and then they talked about the future, this is what we want to do next. They explained the story of what they've been going through to get these uh, sunglasses to where they are. You know, we've done all this research, we've tried all these materials. Um, and then they gave us a few of the technical details, but they didn't focus too, um, too much on the technical details. When I buy a pair of sunglasses, I think uh, I want to not be blinded by the sun, so I want it to have a bit of UV protection. I want to be able to uh, not have to squint in the sun, and uh, I want to look cool. Those are the basic things I care about. If someone starts to go on in depth about uh, the particular type of alloy they're using and the molecular formation of that alloy, I'm not going to be particularly interested. So they've thought carefully about what they really need in that video. They've stripped it down. Um, and then they also explain why they need the money. We need the money to do the production run. So it's not just like, give me your money. They've explained why they need the money. So you've, you've kind of bought into their story. You've been, you've been brought along by this charming pair on Hampstead Heath. And then there's a call to action. Go ahead, look at our, um, look at our benefits below, our rewards, and donate some money to us. Uh, and this is what, this is 
breaking that down to the pre-production phase, this is what we need to do. You, you need to plan. What does a good video need to do? Well, it needs to educate and get them to donate. Now, the absolute essentials, the bare basics you need in your video. The audience needs to understand you. Who are you and why are you doing this? You need to tell a story. This is what we've been up to. This is how we've got to where we are. And what do the audience want to know? So that's the bit I was talking about with the technical details. What's the benefit for them? They only want to know how this will benefit them. Um, what your project is. Yes, so these are the five, six points that they had in that video. And this will help you in your pitch whenever you're uh, talking about your product or your service. Uh, even if you don't turn it into a video, think about this whenever you're pitching. What it is, why you want to make it happen. So again, that's the story, the call to action, how the money will help, the vision and the benefit to the donor. So that's the rewards. Um, does that make sense? Has anyone got any particular questions on that for now? And now, if you're trying to work out a story, this is a really good thing to do because quite often when you get wrapped up in your in your product, you're getting focused on the technical details, the challenges of manufacture, the challenges of how to deliver your service, the challenges of getting some good UX into your app. Um, and those tend to be the things that you talk to other people about when it comes to pitching or explaining what your product is. But take it back to first principles. Why did you come up with this product in the first place? Um, this, this is quite a renowned um, piece in storytelling law. And someone dissected what every Pixar film does. And, this, this picture itself actually very helpfully came from a production company called Arama that do some really good food-related online production.